Now, police in the UK have arrested two men who are said to be part of a vigilante group calling themselves the Muslim Patrol. Clips posted on YouTube show the youths walking around East London confronting people and telling, telling them to obey Sharia law. Muslim organisations in the area have condemned their actions, but as Sarah Firth reports, anger continues to simmer. Uh, an Islamic um, vigilante group, that's what they call themselves, a small number of people who were going up to members of the public in areas of London and confronting them, saying that they were implementing Sharia law and that this was a Muslim area and they were uh, demanding people throw away their alcohol, uh, they were insulting to women, telling them to cover up. Uh, and this got uploaded onto YouTube, um, tens of thousands of people saw it. The original video got removed once the police investigation started, uh, but once again Again, you know, that goes around, so it's still on YouTube right now, and again, tens of thousands of hits. One of the people in the video said that this is the UK, it's not a Muslim area, there's no Sharia law. But obviously, we've seen that this is a debate that really does uh, inflame tensions and causes a lot of controversy. Um, I think the Muslim community across the UK really have uh, come out to condemn what this small group's uh, done and to try and distance themselves from it. The East London uh, Mosque saying that it was designed to stoke up tension. So that there's very much uh, an emphasis on distancing themselves from that type of behaviour. But certainly this is part of a wider debate in the area of London where the police think that this video was filmed uh, in East London is an area that's seen uh, this argument come up a number of times over the past couple of years with fundamentalist groups in these areas uh, making a lot of noise about wanting Sharia law implemented and, and it is a very touchy subject for a lot of people as we said very threatening behavior in those videos. Artie, that's Sarah Firth reporting right there.